Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're going to do some Magic the Gathering today. Me and my buddy actually uh, started a little bit early. Uh, we were uh, just hanging out, having a few, and uh, opened up some decent cards. Got a Misty. We got a Mirari's Wake. Uh, we got an Arab Mesa, too, around here somewhere, but uh, got misplaced. And these are the other cards we've pulled out of this box so far. But I've got about half a box left, and I figured, you know what? We need to make a video. We haven't done it in a couple days. Uh, it's been a couple rough days, um, family-wise. Uh, so uh, keep my family in your prayers. Uh, we've had some uh, hard times, I should say. And uh, that's why I haven't been able to upload. It's been a rough uh, week or so. But anyways, we want to make sure we got a video for you all. And I really appreciate all your support. So I'm going to get right into it. We got Modern Horizons 2. The best set they've made in a long time. And uh, it really makes for fun openings, as well as you can hit the monkey dude that's worth like 60 bucks. You can hit the the uh, fetch lands, just lots of good stuff. The Grace, we got the Shardless Agent with Cascade. That just means broken. It just should just say broken. It shouldn't say Cascade. It should say, this is broken. Yes, that's what it should say. And then suspending, it looks like his pants. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but uh, this makes me hungry. Not really. <laughs> so how have you all been doing today? Um, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are about uh, halfway to 500 subscribers. We're trying to get there. Don't forget, comment down below. Happy 500. Um, we're going to be giving away, uh, in this video, we will give away um, the Ignoble High Arc to one of you that comments Happy 500 and, and says, uh, let's say, their favorite, um, uh, just a favorite card in this set. So uh, this is a, a pretty big set, but you never know. What, what's your favorite card? Urza Saga? You don't know. But uh, say your favorite card, and uh, you could be going home with uh, your boy Noble, Innoble, I should say. Underworld Cookbook, that's a really cool cookbook. I like the art on that. Then you got Braids. Watch out for women that look like that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, well, maybe I'm not kidding. <laughs> they got the Cheddar Spreader. Cheddar Spreader. And then a Foil Moderation. Wow, that's really cool. He's like, I need some help. So I will guide you. I will guide you. All right, we'll put the foil up there. Why not? So how have you guys been doing? Um, uh, I know that lately the, the new uh, um, magic spoilers have been coming out, uh, talking about going into uh, another uh, uh, master set coming up soon. I don't know uh, really the details on it, but it's coming, baby. It's coming. See, Drake? We got the Glimmer Wasp and then the Ornithopter of Paradise. And actually, I, I really like the, uh, um, we'll make a foil pile over here. Let's put foils here. I really like the uh, the new set of uh, Innistrad. I think it's just, it's crafted well. Uh, I've opened a few packs. I haven't opened a lot of it, but it's kind of exciting. You know, uh, it's I don't know the the zombie feel the 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 dead feel just feels good feels good power depot we got the road and the ruin and then we got Molkin and then the progenitor ooze he is oozy storm's another one that says just should just be broken honestly and then the foil anybody like these the indestructible artifact lands I actually think long term this has some potential uh if you wanted to get into it, um, I have no idea if they will ever be worth anything. But I think a couple bucks right now, it being a foil, uh, could be five bucks down the road. You never know. Um, and if you guys were in ship coin, oh my gosh, good good job. It took off today. I know that's way off topic, but in the investment world, I like investment. I like I like cards. I like everything. All right, getting into the brainstone. Don't you guys love the uh, old school? background very very cool mystic the feast of sanity angelic curator and then the unmarked grave 
What a squirrel. Squirrel. And what are you guys looking forward to um, in the upcoming sets? Um, would you like more like stormy type stuff? Would you like more um, less burn, more controly type stuff? You know, let me know. Did, are, are you guys actually playing uh, standard right now? I mean, like on arena? I know sometimes it's hard to find places that play in person. But if you can, I like this card. Seems good. And look at the art. Like, that is just... Wow. Literally, she is chained by her soul. That's unbelievable. And then, huh, maybe chained by Dehana. Watch out. All right, that's our second mythic in the box. I've only pulled one other mythic, and it's Mirari's Wake. So we'll put it up there. It's a decent hit. I am hoping that we just have a high mythic box right at the end, and we can hit your monkey boy. Because the monkeys are the best. We got the golem. We got the gloves. Flocking the auger. Upheaval. And then priest of fell rights. I mean, what do you guys think? <laughs> Fairgrounds patrol. Oh, I got a, I got a bad mind. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully, uh, the kids don't understand some of the things I say. Um, I think more of the kids watch the uh, the Pokemon, and uh, I feel like the a uh, little bit more grown people watch the uh, the flesh and blood and the magic. So hopefully I'm safe. Filgury attendant, the breaker, Zurian orb, sacrifice a land, you gain two life. I mean, if you got a lot of land, why not? Master of death. I don't know. He doesn't look very scary to me. Looks like a like a half. Half butt zombie. Half butt zombie. I think these uh, boxes now are going for like 200. Which, honestly, if you can get a box for 200 of this, uh, I'd pick it up. You don't even have to open it. Just just hold it for a couple years. Seriously. Gorilla Shaman. We got your squirrel chatter fang the general. I always like that dude. Actually, I think this guy has long-term potential too. If they make anything else that is... Uh, squirrel based this dude's gonna jump like crazy so wait for magic to print a squirrel and that dude will be 50 bucks no lie like i think i have a full art of him somewhere 50 bucks i promise you i promise you because anything with walk let me look at these squirrels look at them that that, that legit looks like uh, something out of a horror movie we got the whelp we got the gloves, seal of cleansing. And then the best black card they've printed in a long time, the void walker with shadow. You can use your opponent's cards that have been exiled by this card. It's insane. It's fantastic. That is a great card. If anybody uh, runs uh, Liliana the Veil, vale, the Dante void walker has been part of that new deck. It's fantastic. Just fantastic. It wins a lot of mirror matchups now. And and uh, if you haven't got to play with it, that is a card that is really fun. Radiant Expector, the Collector. He's collecting just like I do. Oh, maybe it's a she. Oh, wow, it's got a person. It's a person. Greed. We all got that a little bit. And then the Marauder. Watch out for people with daggers. Nobody likes daggers. Nobody. Actually, the Void Walker should probably go in our cool guy pile. Let's do that. Void Walker up here with our High Arc. And I'll tell you what. Uh, the We'll pick two winners. We'll give out the Void Walker, too. That's another another good win for you guys. We got the Void Walker and the Innoble High Arc. All you have to do, that's a really good uncommon. That might come with one of those cards, too. Prismatic ending. It is the exile target non-land permanent with mana value less than or equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast the spell. Fantastic card. Fantastic. Wow. The two best uncommons. This is the best red card they've, they've printed in forever. A one mana. One, one. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you surveil. That's ridiculous. Delirium. As long as there's four or more card types in your graveyard, it gets a two plus two and has flying. And attacks each combat. It's a 3-3 three, three flyer for one 
generally as soon as you put it out. Amazing card. Amazing. Cursed Totem, Fractured Sanity, and a reminder, comment down below your favorite card from this set. You will be taking home one of these two cards. If you are picked from the people that comment, I will be picking the winners 48 hours from the making of this video. Anybody that has already won a giveaway, I ship out all giveaways on Monday morning, Eastern Standard Time, if that matters. I live in the United States, so anybody that is international, it may take longer, and I'm sorry. Steering Grove, baby, and then the VEC. Actually, there's a lot of speculation on that one, too, just because it's a great sideboard card against anybody using black. You have protection from any from black. Okay, okay, cool. Right on. Fantastic. Like, yeah, I'll just hit you with all my little dudes. The Batholith. Strike it rich. We got some familiars. Counterspell. I can't believe they reprinted it. For all the people that wanted it. Obsidian Charmall. And then a Soul Snare. Retro foil. Wow, that is beautiful. Soul Serra Retro Foil. I think the only cards you can't get in the uh, main set, um, in the main booster boxes, are the foil etched. I don't think they give you the foil etched. So if you want a foil etched card, or you're looking into investing in foil etched cards, get you a foil etched version of one of the retro lands. Man. You'll have some value down the road. Rage and Visionary, the Sphinx, the Elder. Boom! We got Sylvan of Sea and Sky. Very cool. And then Ren, Run Hydra. I love that art. Like, it looks like an, or, I mean, it looks like an old siren, like from way, way back. You know, uh, is anybody, uh, Really big into like Greek mythology. I think it's Greek mythology. Um, it would be called where you go into the the Sea of Ren or something like that. It's like the Sea of Death, and all of these sirens are coming up and like you know singing to you and stuff. Just craziness. It's cool. Any of that old school stuff is really cool. Oh, we got a foil mythic. Look at that, Titania, Protector of Argoth. That's sweet. 5-3, whenever you have a land and put it into the graveyard from the battlefield, you create a 5-3 elemental. 5-3. It's pretty legit. I like it. Well, that's five mythics. That ain't bad. We got about four packs left. So if we can pull four more mythics, this will be a great box. <laughs> be better than a great box. I'm just looking for one card. One card in particular. And he's a monkey dude. He is a monkey dude. The Ranger. The Rare. Oh. Harvest Hand and Bone Shards. Harvest Hand is not a bad card either. Might be a couple bucks. Might be a couple bucks. If you have not hit that subscribe button, go down below and hit that subscribe button. I try to cover Magic. I try to cover Yu-Gi-Oh. I try to cover Pokemon. And I even have Flesh and Blood and some other things. So uh, if you're into this kind of stuff, I love to have you part of my channel. Gorilla Shaman. Boom! Scalding Tarn, baby! That is what we wanted. Fantastic. I wish I had the Air Mesa. I don't know where I put it. Uh, me and my buddy drank too many beers. Sorry. But Scalding Tarn and a Missy and an Air Mesa in one box. That is, this is really good box. I mean, only thing else I could ask for is the monkey. Can, can we get monkeys? Do we have monkeys, guys? Do we have a monkey? Flame Rift? Thought Monitor. I thought that this card is terrible. Actually, it's not bad. It's Affinity for Artifacts. It means you can tap Artifacts to pay for the banana cost. Yes, it says seven, but if you got like six Artifacts on the board, it costs one. Not bad for a 2-2 flyer that enters the battlefield, you draw two. That's, that's actually not bad. So... If you're playing all artifacts, you probably want that in your deck. As well as there's a uh, card that was printed in, I want to say, War of the Spark. The uh, box topper, or I guess the buy a box promo. 
fantastic with artifacts too. The Calm Archfiend of, oh my goodness. And then Vindicate. He just vindicated that we destroyed the permanent and then we tutored up, hopefully, a monkey in the last pack. That's what we're wanting. Tutor's good hit. Good hit on Tutor. Oh, we got two packs. I thought we only had one. Two packs left, guys. Two packs left. Don't hold your breath. We might. We might hit the monkey. We could. We very well could. We very well could. It'd be cool if it was like a retro frame, too. Like, let's get a retro frame monkey. Come on. The Necromancer. Wow. Is that young Lily? I think that's young Lily, guys. That's cool as hell. That is awesome. Bone Shredder. Timeless Dragon. Nobody cares. And then Goldmire Bridge. I mean, I guess Timeless Dragon's okay, but I don't think I ever play with it. I mean, I'm sure... It's, all right, tell you what. If you guys know a Timeless Dragon deck, like a deck that you have played Timeless Dragon in, let me know. I'll try it out. If you it, Like, I'm a dragon person. I like dragons. I just don't think I'll play that dragon. I don't think I will. All right, last pack magic. Chatterstorm. Look at him. He's like, I don't know. I don't know if you can do it. I said, I don't know either. Step through. We got the barn. We got the salvaging. We got a titan. We got a strider. We got a dome. We got Mistress Factory, the card that everybody hates. And we got a foil there. Or not a foil. We got a mythic. Living weapon indestructible. Anything that says living weapon, it's worth some money. The carport. With equip seven. It gets 5-5, five, five, First Strike, Trample, Indestructible, Haste, and whenever this creature deals combat with an answer, exile that creature. That is insane. Insane, guys. Guys. Insane. And treasure. It's a treasure. Oh, what do you guys think? I think we had a pretty decent box. Pretty decent box. Uh, I mean, the Scalding and the Misty are obviously the best. Um, so, yeah. I think we did pretty good. Let's look at them. Let's look at them. Scalding. And Misty. Misty came home and scalded your tar. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate all your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below your favorite card in this set. You'll be taking home one of these if you are picked in the next 24 or 48 hours. Sorry. Next 48 hours, we will have a random selector pick, and two people will be winning. You'll get one or the other. Thanks, guys.